The following is a satirical endorsement. The Perry Logan Show is sponsored in part by Antarctica, tropical paradise. Have you heard? Global warming has made Antarctica into a tropical paradise. Sure, anything closer to the equator than Antarctica is toast by now, but down in Antarctica, it's a vacationer's paradise. Come to sunny Antarctica, the post-global warming paradise. Much nicer than the dome you live in. When you get as nutty as the crow gun people are, it's essentially shooting fish in a barrel to make fun of them! <laughs> this is Jefferson Davis. I'm one of them Big ol' Southern Traders, Jefferson Davis! Now this is Jefferson Davis welcoming you to another ineffable Perry Logan show, Fish in a Barrel, starring Austin's deeply misunderstood Perry Logan. Did you know that I, Jefferson Davis, enacted and enforced gun control laws? Yes, I remember it well. It was back in Richmond, Virginia, when the folks with guns were, as they always do, getting it out of hand and screwing things up for everyone else. This was back during the Civil War, and I, Jefferson Davis, enacted and enforced gun control laws in Richmond, Virginia. Did he say Jefferson Davis enacted and enforced gun control laws in Richmond, Virginia during the Civil War? No, Perry, and don't interrupt. I said, I, Jefferson Davis, enacted and enforced gun control laws in Richmond, Virginia during the Civil War. Yahoo! Gun control. Go, go, go. Yahoo! Even though I'm a traitor who tried to secede from the Union, I agree with Perry Logan that gun control is the only sane way. There is no right to bear arms, and we're just going to have to confiscate the guns. Oh, oh, what? I'm told I should not use the word confiscate. Whoops. They told me I should not use a certain word because it makes the gun guys pee their pants. Confiscate. Oh, look at there. Ted Nugent just peed his pants. This is Ted Nugent. Uh, dude, I just peed my pants. Sorry, Ted. This is Alex Jones. You said confiscate. I just peed my pants. The government did it. I peed my pants and the government did it. Sorry, Alex. I apologize and will not use the word confiscate. Whoops. Again, I can see there's not a dry seat in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, direct from a sellout show at the Copacabana in sunny Antarctica, Austin's misunderstood Perry Logan! Perry! 
Larry Logan. Ew. Why does America have such a gun problem? When even I, Jefferson Davis, knew damn well you have to crack down on guns to have a civilized society. I mean, oh my God. Jefferson Davis. <laughs> come on, come on, let's hear a little enthusiasm. Uh, this, this show emanates from Austin, Texas, a town I love, but uh, we're in Texas, so I guess, you, I, I guess you love Jefferson Davis, though some would call him a traitor. <laughs> Look, Jefferson asked me a question, excuse me. Jefferson said, why Perry, why does America have such a problem with guns? Woo! We do have a problem with guns, and one of them is that if you say we have a problem with guns, certain people will go like this. I'll give you that again. Sorry. That's my impersonation of a rampant gun guy. And what might a rampant gun guy be, you may ask? Don't ask me. Well, a gun guy who thinks that the government is going to do anything to restrict his access to guns. I mean, we, we know gun guys. We're Americans, okay? Some of us are Americans, and we know gun guys. It's mostly white guys. Give me a break. It's almost all white guys. I regard them as a genetically inferior substrain of the white guy clan, mm -hmm. but never mind. I take it as axiomatic that gun guys, pro-gun zealots, and we love them, we love them, we just want to disarm them. <laughs> Ooh, I'm sorry. Did some of you guys pee your pants? I keep forgetting, gun guys are very sensitive. They have, as you might say, itchy trigger fingers. They have emotionally itchy trigger fingers. And in fact, you can cause them to pee their pants just by saying the word Never say the word in front of a gun guy. Oh, he beat his pants. Just a little joke. Just a little joke. And I would like to thank my sponsor, Antarctica. Antarctica, Antarctica the, the new tropical paradise. paradise. The new post-global warming tropical paradise. Much, Much nicer, nicer than, than your dome. dome. Thank you. Now, now back, back to, to the, the show. show. <gasps> okay, let's just say pro-gun people seem to have increasingly short fuses the more pro they get. And I don't know what this has to do with penis size, but we're not talking about penis size here, right? I deny that completely. But none other than Jefferson Davis, in case you just tuned in, Jefferson Davis, I think he's in some circle of hell. You know, uh, isn't it treason to start shooting at your fellow Americans because they elected a guy you didn't approve of? Oh my God, what traitors! Ah! Yes, but there's, there's real science here. Don't you think there's real science here? Uh, gun guys, <laughs> pro-gun people get more nutty as they get more pro. Oh, come on, man. Uh, uh, who's the most pro-gun guy you can think of? Wayne LaPierre? De LaPierre? Did I hear Ted Nugent? <laughs> Oh, okay, Alex Jones. Alex Jones it is. I rest my case. No, Alex Jones is a real person, and he he's, you know, he does a show on Channel Austin, which is, let's face it, the greatest 
cable channel in the universe, right? I said, right? Hey, let's talk about rights. How about my right to terrify you and your children? Okay, okay. But I was explaining that Jefferson Davis, who himself enacted gun laws, enacted gun control laws. Jefferson Davis, I love that. But that's not keeping him from being burnt in hell or whatever. And for that whole secession thing, which is treason. Quick reminder. I love you, Texans, but don't forget, secession is treason. Can you say, secession is treason? Secession is treason! I didn't hear you. Secession is treason? I can't hear you, boy! Secession is treason! Yahoo! Okay, stop changing the subject. How can I do a show when you people, who don't even exist... No, you don't exist! You're not real! Everybody knows that you're not real! My audience doesn't even know they're not real. Is this rich irony? <laughs> well, maybe not. Well, despite your efforts to change the subject, I was just mentioning a real guy named Alex Jones, who you yourselves, my beautiful non-existent audience... Aww. Look, you chose Alex Jones as being, you know, easily one of the most pro-gun guys in America. Who's the most pro-gun guy in America? Oh, wow. Who knows? Because, you know... The gun guys are all excited, is what I'm saying. I'm doing this show on January 17th, 2013. Okay. okay. Stop applauding the date. It's just the date. But it really is January 13th, 2013, shortly after the nightmare massacre of children at Newtown. The Newtown Massacre. Uh, which, you know, has been like quite a boon to the gun industry. Why, nothing like a massacre of children to pump up the sale of guns. Go, go, go! Just putting in a good word for capitalism. And by the way, is there any doubt there would be no gun problem were it not for capitalism? Simple, quick, anti-capitalist point here. Yeah. You come to Channel Austin to hear a little anti-capitalism, right? <laughs> Which, oddly enough, you don't hear much on the corporate media. Can't figure that out. But I just wanted to point out, do you think America would have a gun problem, a gun violence problem, a child massacre problem, if you will, were it not for capitalism, if someone weren't making a bundle on the guns? And so we are, among other things, faced with the supreme irony that the slaughter of children has been extremely good news for the gun industry. Congratulations, gun industry, pro-gun guys, Alex Jones, all of you. May the souls of the slain children haunt your dreams until great, huge, pulsating bags form under your eyes. And you put your teeth rotting up with your brain, and your nose is bleeding, and like snot, yeah, snot in your nose, and scribble, and pee, and pee, and uh, do I need more? Do I need more? Do I need more? Do I need more? Please remain calm and in your seat, what though they may be. We're just having our Tourettean moment. And now a word from our sponsor. Come to lush and sunny Antarctica before it gets too hot. Remember, it's far more comfortable than the dome you live in, and they don't ration the food. Now back to Perry. Sometimes I lose patience with this show, don't you? Hey, it's my imaginary audience, and they agree with me. Okay, now wait, wait, wait. <laughs> 
I am just citing a colleague, if you will, a fellow Austinite, in any case, conspiracy nut Alex Jones. Alex! <laughs> conspiracy nut! <laughs> Why does Perry call me a conspiracy nut when all I've ever done has claimed that the secret elite of the world worship Moloch and can live forever? What's so strange about that? Nothing, Alex. Stay away from guns. Look, I'm answering a question, believe it or not. Just like Jefferson Davis came, came up from hell. <laughs> and asked me, why do we have such a gun problem, you know? And I'm citing Alex Jones as part of the problem. I love the guy. Alex is, is programmed to the nth degree. Alex uh, is on record as having said, if you're in favor of gun control, you're a Nazi. That's what my friend said. That's what my colleague said. Now, you know, if you look at the numbers, you quickly realize, why, Alex, that's most of the people in the world. You just call most of the people in the world Nazis. <laughs> Stay away from guns. Stay away from guns, Alex Jones. This is a satirical message for Alex Jones. Alex, stay the hell away from guns. You're way too unstable. You're way too crazy. You need help. You need help. Go to a doctor, Alex Jones. I love you, big guy. <laughs> Now, 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 the background to this is that these guys, the guys we love, the pro-gun guys, all right? Now, if you've been following the lecture so far, <laughs> it's a lecture. Yes, it is. It is a lecture with dancing and music. If you've been following the story so far, you know, the more pro the gun guy, the less, <laughs> the more pro the gun guy, the nuttier he is. The stronger the pro-gun sentiment, the more normal people would say, we've got to keep this guy away from guns. Please, please. Keep Ted Nugent, Alex Jones, Mr. LaPierre, and who, just keep them all away from guns. They are obviously the last people in the world who should be allowed to have guns. That's the problem, Jefferson. I hope you're satisfied, you southern traitor. I love you. <laughs> and we are up to our clarns and guns, if I may say. <laughs> and we are up to our arses and guns uh, for two main reasons that come to mind. One is that someone's making a lot of money. Hey, we are living in uh, corporate-controlled, corporate-run America, where never uh, a, a, a critical word about capitalism can be said, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, so if something makes money, it'll be everywhere. Just, just like that. No government to stop it, no nothing to stop it. Example, fracking. Fracking! Yes, fracking. I said a fracking. I said a fracking. Fracking. I said a fracking. Fracking. I said a fracking. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Take fracking now, which is a process of uh, destroying the environment to get oil. <laughs> to get natural gas. Excuse me. Destroying the environment to get natural gas, and it's everywhere. They are probably fracking outside this window right now, here in my secret lair. Yay! They are probably fracking somewhere near you, screwing up your drinking water, screwing up everything, screwing up the air, throwing methane into the air, but never mind. The point is, if you would stop changing the subject, the point is, Fracking makes money. <laughs> Fracking, this process of getting fuel, natural gas, uh, bad for the environment, but good for money. And uh, so there's fracking everywhere. Mostly, uh, just largely unregulated, uncontrolled, just money. If the money, if it makes money, you can do it. If you make money, uh, you can't be arrested for anything. You get it. Yeah. That's where we live right now. And so we have a gun problem, and it's just, well, what kind of society do we have? Guns make money. There you have it. 
has nothing to do with the Constitution or anything. And then there's the other problem, Perry. And the other problem is that while there is no right to bear arms, I cannot repeat this too often, but I'll try. Shut up! Shut up! There is no right to bear arms. I said no right to bear arms, otherwise you could own nukes. And the Second Amendment doesn't say anything about guns. Now, does it? This suggests, despite appearances, the gun guys are screwed. Aww. Well, I think they don't have a leg to stand on. But here's the problem. Okay, so first of all, someone's making money, so we're going to have guns. And second of all, there are this kind of a creepy, inferior strain of the white guy clan, if you know what I mean. The gun guys, some damn fool told these bozos guns were a right. Oh, and if you tell an angry white guy, because that's what we're talking about. We're talking about angry white guys. And if you tell an angry white guy he's entitled to something and then say he's got to give it up, it's like... <laughs> this is Alex Jones. <laughs> this is Ted Nugent, man. <laughs> I'm like peeing my pants here, but then that's not a new thing for me. Ew. I'm sorry I did it again. I somehow made the gun guys pee their pants. But that's what I think we're up against. That's why. Uh, we're, we're, woo, woo. Did I howl? Forgive me for howling. But uh, right now the gun debate is uh, very much front and center. Yeah. Uh, this show is, uh, believe it or not, a product of things that are actually happening. And due to the recent massacre of children, which has made the gun manufacturers so happy, and has been good for the NRA. What can I say? The massacre of children is good for the NRA. So, hey, join up by all means. Surely you want to be part of an organization and give money to an organization uh, that does well when children are massacred and wants to make it easier for children to be massacred. Come here, you big... Come here. Come here, you guys. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> Admit it, you loved it. It seems to me we've lost our rights uh, without any hyperbole. We have lost our rights. There is the Patriot Act, which has just a million things in it. <laughs> uh, creates a whole government agency devoted to kind of like screwing up your rights. All in the name of fighting terrorism, as you well know. And uh, they passed this bill that would enable them to spy on us. This is like completely unconstitutional. They unconstitutionally are making it legal for themselves to do things. That is exactly what's going on. And there's a law, my favorite, the NDAA, another law that both parties have easily agreed on and repassed, you know, revised and made worse. There's a law called the NDAA, which quite literally, uh, uh, tosses the Bill of Rights to the wind and says that the army must come and get you if they think you're a terrorist. What an age we live in, you see? The president, that, you know, I, I love that president. His name escapes me right now. The recently re-elected president has a very simple two-step foreign policy. Step one, accuse someone of being a terrorist. Step two, kill him. And anyone who happens to be near him, that's it. Okay, now you see, 
coming back round by a commodious vicus of circulation. Can anybody explain uh, where were the gun guys when we lost our rights? Where were the gun guys when we lost our rights? Yes. Me and the band would like to play a song called Where Were the Gun Guys When We Lost Our Rights. Ladies and gentlemen, where were the gun guys when Americans lost their rights? We currently suffer under any number of unconstitutional bills, which are going almost unchallenged in the courts. This under a Democrat. My friends, consider the irony that we live in an age when most lefties literally cannot tell a Democrat from a fascist. <laughs> Thank you for spending your vacation in lush, warm Antarctica, which is a little hot for this time of year. Antarctica, now a tropical paradise, where, unlike the dome where you live, there's enough food. Yay! Remember Perry Logan's motto, if you like living in a dome, be sure to thank a global warming denier. We thank you for vacationing here in sunny Antarctica, and bid you now return to your dismal, miserable little domes where you're forced to live because of the burnt earth outside.